Hey YouTube, Rare Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you today with an unboxing of this Atlantis 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brome. And the reason I want to do this unboxing is to let you know what's inside this box. You can see the artwork on the box. You see nothing about what is inside or what the finished model looks like. Um, so you can see this box is slightly damaged here. I actually didn't buy this model kit. It uh, was bought by a friend of mine who ended up buying it and was completely disappointed. Well, let's open it up and see why. Okay. All right, so everything's been unbagged here, so we'll just start with the body. So this is, there's some pieces here, half a tire. This is how this particular model kit comes. So you'll want to know that if you're purchasing something like this, that um, you're not going to necessarily get something that's going to be easy to build. The one good thing about this model I will point out is if you are capable of getting something like this together and looking good, it still looks like the car. So it's not a complete waste, but what is a problem with this model is the price tag. It's basically, uh, in Canada here, I think he paid $50 for this, or $46, something like that, and that is not a $46 model, I can tell you that right now. It's uh, I wouldn't pay 10 bucks for this. So anyway, uh, but if you want a 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brome, that's the only way you're going to get this kit. So anyway, that's the body. Basically the chassis and the body is molded in one. You have to try to build everything and put it together. But I will show you a process that I've done in the past, uh, or working on, to be able to overcome something like this. But anyway, let's just show you that. Here's obviously what you get for tires, so you don't even get vinyl rubber, you get plastic tires. Okay, there's half of it. Here's the instructions, and in the instructions you do see an example of what the model could look like built. That's pretty good, it comes with a couple figurines there. Okay, not much to it, just uh, very basic, there's your interior, and then putting the body together. Makes it very hard to get a nice paint job and seamless paint job when it goes together this way. Let's get to the good parts. This, uh, These wheels are fantastic. I love these wheels. If you're into hot rodding and customizing and you want a set of Cadillac hubcaps, uh, they have a lot of detail in them and they look pretty nice. And then the bumpers here, we got our headlight buckets. This is that sort of V for the V8 engine in the front. And then these are the, the tail lights, bumpers, and rear sections of the car. And the chrome is actually quite nice on this. There's not a lot of flash. And it it's, uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, dirt or imperfections in it. So that's, that's one good thing about the model. These are the sides that glue on. Uh, after the you get the body together, you glue on these sides. This looks like sort of front suspension detail and a couple of plastic uh, axles. The glass does come pre-wrapped uh, in its own bag, so it's not all scratched up, which is good. Um, you can detail this up. Let me just open this up here. Here's the glass um, out of the bag. It's, it's in it's it's pretty good uh, it goes on the model like this after it's painted and all the trim work and the roof actually has to glue on after so you have to um, do all that okay here's the rest of those tires or uh, some of them the rest are in the bottom there interior floor pan as you can see it's got some uh, sort of grinding on it to give it a textured um, carpet. Now this this kit has been released before. This is originally developed by Ravel and um, basically it's been released a couple of times and now it's uh, being released now by Atlantis. But uh, the problem is you know it's it's a kit that's not worth you know if you paid 10 or 15 maybe 20 dollars on the shelf now I could see with the price of kits it would be worthwhile, but to pay the money for this is just not worth it. 
Uh, here's that roof section that you would glue on. Okay, it's there, and then here's the bottom side of that roof section. Okay, okay, here's the front seat for it. You can see there, it's got some detail where there looks like maybe a speaker grill. I'm not sure why they'd have that in the front. There's the back side of it. Okay, and then here's the other seat. I mean, it's uh, for an older kit. It's, it's it's nice. I mean, you know, when this kit was developed, it was probably 1957. Uh, here's the door panels. They're separate, so you can do some nice detail on those. Front side, back side. Second door panel is here. All right, left and right side. Then here's the other body side there is in the box okay here is the dashboard and then they have a, a dash pad that goes on the top okay and that would go together you get a nice little dash there's actually quite a bit of nice detail on this dashboard I don't think the detail and the size of the model is wrong it's just the execution of it of course is very unconventional. Here are the, uh, the decals or decals as, as some people would call them. This is the uh, done by Atlantis, obviously redone. Okay. And then we have a steering wheel, steering column. All right. Have, this is uh, to represent the rear axle. Rear axle housing goes over top after. <clears throat> In '57, I want to point out that Cadillac was the first year that used this GMX X chassis. Look at the history there. It does at least have the right things molded in. Here's uh, another part for the interior. And then we have our figures. Now the figures, this gentleman that bought the kit was excited about the figures and he glued them together. So here's the, the man, those two halves, as you can see here. And then the woman he painted up to show what it could look like if it was done. So I don't know if you've uh, seen on the past, this, uh, Stephen has come on my channel before and he's built a model for Cold War Motors. He's the gentleman who bought this model and was highly disappointed. He did paint and build the woman in here and then he decided he was so upset about the car so that he uh, he just gave it to me, he said review it on your channel and you know let people know what's in the box because uh, you know you don't always know. He went into the hobby shop, thought he was getting a 57 Cadillac Eldorado and he did but it was uh, it was it was not what he expected. I do want to give you a little bit of a history lesson on these. Um, this is the old Lincoln Futura, and I'll do an unboxing on this too if you want. This is an old, old kit. Um, same line, basically the same way. Yep. This kit is sort of acceptable because you have no way of getting a Lincoln Futura. Uh, they did some other cars, a Buick, an old Chrysler, a Mercury, and there's a uh, Cadillac convertible, 56, and then, you know, Ford and the Lincoln Continental. And so, basically, that's where this kit was originally uh, derived from that series. Now, they also had a Pontiac. Um, this was a concept car back in the day, 56 concept car. And as you can see, what I've done here is I've cut the bottom out and I've put a Corvette chassis under this that can then come out no, I'm doing that wrong no, I'm doing that wrong, okay it can then come out here so there's the chassis and then now this body is one piece I've glued it together this was a built up that somebody had done so I've it's got some paint and stuff on the inside but this way I'm able to sand it, get it all smooth get the car painted and then able to reassemble it again as we're with this here you kind of have to assemble and paint everything as it goes together so 
that's a solution that could be done to this Cadillac. I don't know if I'm ever going to build it, but I just wanted to review it on the channel. So there you have it. Uh, that's basically the kit here. I just wanted to uh, show you what, what it's like and just sort of do a buyer beware um, video so that uh, you don't get scammed buying the same kit. So if you want to have it, yeah, that's what it's like inside the box. And if you like these videos, please like, comment, and share. And have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.